does not come over here. I've waited for them to finish the other end and it's coming back over here again. Okay. Just drifts. Ooh, what we're looking at? Bear yard? Something like that. There's cows. First ball is short here. We're short. Yeah, caught a car out there with pace. Okay. Well, it looks a little bit through again to me. Just that touch through. Oh yeah, he goes five, four foot through. Yes. I don't think Carl will let him off with this. No, I don't think he would. Plenty of room, Carl punishes it. Good ball. Yeah. This is one thing about Wharton Cons Bowling Green. You don't leave a yard. In fact, you're very lucky if you get away with an end here at, at a couple of foot, really. Although, uh, of course, this one's two stray ends, but uh, a two foot ball can, uh, can be one down very often. It is one down. Look at him. He wants it to stay straight. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Thank you, probably have a go at these, maybe. Just thinking about it very carefully. This car. Had a little think there, just composed himself and. Uh, Right to us to wait. It's pulled up. Is it the thing? Oh! <sighs> look there. Very hard look. Quite funny that was there with Carl. I just mentioned him the last time there. He was uh, deep, really deep in thought. <laughs> Gary takes a look at the end. See whether he can. Either win it or uh, stop Carl from winning to the pool, so that's the aim, the aim of the game. Ooh, wish I could run like that, can I, lad? Yeah, and a daft then. Let's see the daft ball, huh? Oh. Here's the reply. Oh, boy. Real ball. It is a real ball. What a great ball. Oh, hear me. Suffering, Callum lad. Suffering there, that one. <coughs> Well up of course. No, oh, no, stays on the outside. You ain't gonna get a second with that, mate. I think he was just bowling it away. <laughs> Settling for the one, I think. Thirteen eleven is the goal. Gary Ellis and Carl Armitage. Or eleven thirteen off the mat. Oh my, that is a brilliant pole over there in the corner. 
<laughs> no, nope, too far out, Callum. That ain't gonna come back. That ain't gonna come back. No, nope. it's just that one. Never mind, that's why you've got two. No, nope. right. Mm, a little bit tight with that one. See if there's a better road. If there's a better road. How's it going to finish? Just stay down. Hard luck. Good correction from his first, of course. Well, you only cut it back. Let it do it. Goodbye, Link. Think it makes another? Well, uh, Carl says it all there. Definitely do to go. Familiar. Luke of our club here, what well, comes, you can see the triangle there. It says it all of course, identifying the club. Well, we've got a bit of a stray on this pair. Huh? <laughs> Mike and uh, Callum. But, uh, Mike's correct, he's very well there with his second. Oh, what are you doing here, lad? Maybe it's reached its wing. Oh, dear me. Just made it. Well, these are the guys that are keeping the score this evening. And um, Gary Ellis just signalled two. We'll just have a look and see what the scores are. What are the scores now, Dennis? 18-11. Alice. Alice. What are yours, Dad? 14 12. 14 12. Right. right. Okay. Well, that's your latest scores this evening. Well, let's get back to the games now and uh, see how they fare. Right, Tunstall, uh, pull this block across the corner. It's a bit short, that one does to me. Yeah. Well, oh, Callum. Looking good. It's looking good. It just stayed out a bit. Lance alright, but just uh, stayed out, unfortunately. It's Mike's ball. Yeah, winner in. If it can stop on. First up on. Can it do it? Yeah. Look, it's won it. And Callum's just been across there looking. It's a couple of foot at the side of the block on a difficult mark. So uh, he's going to have to be really. Oh, he's striking. This is onto Mike Tunstall. I thought he might have, he might have bowled that actually because it was beatable in that corner there. There we go. There's Chris Parlow over that side of the green. Getting himself a little bit of something to eat. That's fair. Well, Carl, going back to the other game. It's lovely paced. What a good ball. Good ball. What a great ball. Well done, Carl. Same one as well.
18-12 to Gary Ellis in this game as Carl balls up to the uh, top of the green here where I'm standing. <laughs> Just about stays on I think. Yeah it does. It's that little feel of rain now. Just feel that little tiny feeling that we may well have a little bit of rain before the evening's over. They have uh, predicted rain, but uh, oh, well, Gary, looking good. About fourteen across the other game with uh, Callum and uh, Mike Tunstall. So that's a right battle between those two. And uh, that's trying its hardest. Just can't make it. Just stays out. Oh, Carl sweating here. That's not good news, Carl. Getting a sweat on, lad. Well, what's Gary doing here? We take two here. Definitely. I don't know though. Oh, it looked as if it was uh, going to make it there. Oh, no. Not quite sure. Another uh, cow's conceded the two. What we're looking at. No, just the one. Yeah, didn't quite make it. Well, there we are. You can see on the sheet there the uh, finalists. Uh, Gary Ellis plays Callum Wright in the uh, the previous round. Carl Armitage 20, Gary Ellis 31. Mike Tunstall 24, Gary Ellis. Uh, sorry, Callum Wright 31. So it's uh, all set up to be a, a very good final. So let's uh, go outside and just take some video clips of the game and enjoy some uh, good bowling here in Winsford. Of course, at Walton Conservative Club for the Walton Conservative Club Open 2015. Okay, welcome to the final for the Walton Cons 2015 competition. As you can see by his profile there, Callum Wright, and of course, recognise that guy in front, even from behind, is of course Gary Ellis. What a final! You're going to have a final of these two guys, and this is uh, just uh, allowing someone to come past there. This is the uh, officially first end, as the first end cannon struck the blocker. So, this is the first scoring end, as to say. Okay, okay. You know, that's it. set. What's it doing? Oh, it just sunk at the last minute with that ball. Here's uh, Callum's ball, it's just waiting for it to come. Turns over, goes in the other way. Yeah. That's a good ball. Yeah, oh, what? dear me. Excuse me, I thought that had uh, saved one actually from this distance, but it shows how wrong you can be when you uh, make uh, decisions from a distance. One thing to remember when you play for your team, don't just uh, tell somebody you think they're on or whatever. Go and have a look, otherwise, you might be wrong like I was there. Well, there's Gary bowling across the corner here. Let's have a look. Oh yes, what a great bowl. Just nicely tittles the, uh, the jack. Just precision bowling, so lovely to watch. And Callum just goes over the top. Bowls up, but uh, just 
that little bit of white extra takes it over the top. But he's got to be up. No good ball in a short ball. Well, got it. He's here again. That's great bowling. Bowling at its best. Absolute bowling at its best. There's Callum again firing. Yeah, that's the block as clean as a whistle. Sorry about the movement in the camera there, but um, uh, if you uh, <laughs> I've ever seen Callum before, you make yourself scarce when he strikes because they go absolutely everywhere. So uh, it's a good move to uh, get out of the way quick because when he lets them go, boy, do they go. Like, as I've said, Exocet missiles. This could be a long game. <laughs> it could be a long game. And that we call delivery there of Gary's. Good to see uh, Crown Green Bowling back on the TV, by the way. Um, is, is it September? Um, a bowling competition back on national TV with uh, is it ITV4 so great to see they'll be getting a bit of recognition again after uh, 20 plus years of not being on the TV so that's really good really good news great news on turns over goes in the other way looking for a length ball and uh, I don't know, has it done it? Has it gone through? Yeah. Gary wants to know, it's important to him. No good guessing, we've just been talking about that, haven't we? He doesn't want to guess, he wants a, an accurate assessment. Well, there goes the Peggy way in. Just stays out as Calm decides to take the easier route in. See if we can tighten it up anyway. See if we can if he gets the block, he's won it. Oh. Wins it. Good ball. Good ball. Would have hit the block there, I think he's still carried it through and won. But um, all the length ball anyway. Great ball. Well, Callum decides to bowl up shorter, sort of three quarters away across the green and across instead of sort of diagonal. Well, it's struggling to get there, but it did. It managed it. The bowl. Just keep the camera there because Harry's let his go. Ooh. Well, dear me, I think the word's precision, just absolute precision. <laughs> Callum's, Callum's was a, an absolute belter, but that is, uh, if you need an advert for Crown Green Bowling, my goodness, this is it, without a doubt, fantastic. Well, he's got Callum thinking now. What's he going to do? Try play it out or try play it off? Let's come and have a look. A lot at stake here, so he's using a bit of common sense and just looking at the end. No rash decisions. Let's have a look and see whether he can improve his situation. Lovely to see yeah, such bowling. It really is. I won't be sick. Gonna miss this. Oh, it's well, Sunday night coming here and watching the bowling, but uh, it's lovely to see the final, but at the end of the day it's sort of final as well, in as much as it's gone for a year. 
Oh, that is very unlucky there from Callum. Very unlucky indeed. But uh, good to see that there's also indoor bowling. I know there's some outdoor stuff, but um, I don't do winter bowling. I do indoor bowling at my age. A bit more pleasant, a bit more sociable. So locally we've got one or two holes that actually accommodate indoor bowling. Until we start again next March, then off it goes. And again, we've got Christmas between then, don't we? Um, you know, you just come and try your best really, don't you? And, uh, I think everyone who, who has any ambitions in the game needs to be playing in things like this. I, uh, I think they've lost one of the uh, the prize winners. I think they should do donate it to the uh, British Crime Wing Fund, to be honest. It's, it's summed up the day, actually. Players going missing. Oh, it's um, Gareth who we've lost. You know, I, I can understand Gareth going missing there. I think I'd have gone missing as well for a few minutes, but he should yeah. be he should be proud of what he's achieved. Well, yes, you know, um, I mean, I've been in that position, Andrew, as you know, losing in the final of Old England, and whilst yeah, I was disappointed. Um, you look back and think there are a lot of people who'd like to be in that position. Yeah, too. absolutely. Well, that's what we do. No offence to you, no. Yeah, yeah. As much as I love commentating. <laughs> Fully deserved winner. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's Mike Parsonage representing uh, Flowfit, Simon's brother. Simon's uh, sunning himself abroad. Oh, very nice. I don't blame him. I'm going away mm. soon. And what uh, generous company oh. Flowfit are. Oh, oh well. nearly. It's only, it's only 100 years old. Yes, <laughs> Tom. Posing for the photograph. I think there's a smile there, you know. Yeah, there's a smile. I think there, I think there is a smile somewhere there. Could take his hat off. He doesn't smile at all. Uh, the winners can smile, the losers can please themselves. That's what they say. Yeah, well, I think you'll be keeping that blue shirt for a while. We well, did a blue winner last year, actually, I can't remember. Um, mm, I thought she was red. Yeah, I think she was. And then Aunt Bracken played in blue from memory. I must admit, I prefer the blue. It brings out the colours in me, colour in my eyes. 